Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, so you can tell by the title of this video what this video is going to be about. Now, obviously, if you know me, you know I am a conspiracy theorist. You know, like I've been um, like really into conspiracy theories and sometimes I make conspiracy theories of my own. Let me just know that none of what I'm about to say has been proven. It's literally just something I've been thinking of in my own mind. And I just thought I'm going to share it with you. So obviously if you're a 90s baby like me, I'm 1993, um, you would know, you know, you know who Britney Spears is. And even if you're not a 90s baby, you could be a... Man, millennial, you could be older, you could be younger, whatever, you know who Britney Spears is. Now, um, let me just give you, like, to, for those who, you know, has been living under a rock and actually doesn't know what's happened, um, Britney Spears was literally, like, what well, is, like, the, the um, princess of pop, um, uh, she was huge, like she was like massive, like right? in the 90s to early 2000s, no, not in the early 2000s, like mid 2000s, like from like the 90s to the mid 2000s, she was huge. She started where she started on the Mickey Mouse Club along with Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberlake as a child, and then you know, she just and then when they all grew older, like obviously Justin Timberlake. You know, joined um, NSYNC and then he went solo. Then Christine, no, then it was Britney Spears who came up with, came out with Hit Me Baby One More Time, and then Christina Aguilera, Genie in the Bottle. So, anyway, so these three has been sort of not rivals, but Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears was always known to be like rivals and Britney Spears actually at one point dated Justin Timberlake, but then that's a whole different video. They broke up because she cheated, whatever. But obviously throughout the years we've seen Britney Spears showing signs of you know, mental health or just having like a severe breakdown. Like everybody remembers that iconic moment when it was all over tabloid and all over E! News and like literally everywhere in every single magazine Britney Spears shaving her own hair off and you know, shaving herself bald basically and then her song started to get a little darker you know like it was already dark if you think about it but her song started to get like little like almost like she's crying for help um she brought out um every time um, what else did she bring out? She brought out a few songs. She brought out a few songs before that, but she also brought out a few songs after that. Um, and she was just, yeah, so I think after like 2010, 2011, like she sort of, people, people wasn't really, not that interested in Britney, I'm not going to say that, but there was other celebrities, other things was coming out, you know, other you know, we had Lady Gaga, we had all these different celebrities and obviously like what always happens, the older celebrities sort of fade into the background and then the new celebrities is like the new whatever. But then obviously that will all change when this whole thing with the conservative, I can never say that word, conservatorship, <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm going to type it. Anyway, um, yeah. Side note, some words I have problems pronouncing is because my lisp don't laugh, laugh at me. <laughs> but yeah, so um, because of the conservatorship and um, I think there's this huge movement called Free Britney and you probably would have seen it everywhere. And every and it came to like, there was even the Netflix documentary about Britney Spears and like what's happened to her like obviously she had two boys and her voice was taken off of her um because obviously like of her mental state apparently and it was just like really really just like really tragic but then 
when we watched the documentary, we realised that actually Britney Spears' family has been taking advantage of Britney Spears and her mental state. The conservatorship is basically allowed her dad to basically just be in charge of all her money. Um, she was told when she can and cannot see her children. She was told, you know, like she had, she was put in hospitals without, like she basically had no control over her life. And like when people realise that th there's basically what's been going on, they'll make her do jobs such as like um, the X Factor or The Voice or whatever and then she earned literally nothing because her dad basically just had took all her money for himself and her whole family was in on it and they basically just exploited the hell out of Britney Spears and they're the, basically the reasons why she is having such a hard time. So anyway, um, obviously obviously with the whole conservatorship it brought a lot of attention to Britney and not for a good reason it was well for a good reason in a way because everyone was like very supportive of Britney but at the same time it's just a really sad situation so we had so when she we had that you know that go to court and she would lose the case even though you know like she should have won the case but like so anyway um i'm rambling on so if you're on britney's instagram now bear in mind her family is severely messed up making made her take like tons of medication that you know she doesn't want to take and different things like that so obviously um while all this was going on, she was bringing out, you know, obviously you probably remember the, um, I think it was on TikTok or Instagram, I don't remember which one, but the whole, um, someone commented, if you're in trouble, um, wear yellow. And then the next video, she wore yellow and that's when everybody was like, okay, there's something wrong here. So... Obviously, like when when she first when she first started to um, come on Instagram and do these little yeah like dances, you know, like she'll well not really dances, but I, c I can't even call it dances. It's more like her swaying, her you know showing like her pulling down these really tiny shorts that's like that she probably had since she was like sixteen and you know just to reveal like her um i don't know underbelly or whatever you call it like yeah just like basically her pelvic bone you know like she's just been like you know swaying her hair and just doing the whole side to side thing like she's sort of like on a catwalk of you know having pictures taken of her you know on a red carpet but you're know, doing different sort of subtle moves but i don't know it's just really bizarre and at first i was like everybody else i was like okay you know she's having a hard time you know let the girl live she's you know she's like she just obviously dancing to this song yeah her dance skills has definitely gone down but hey you know like whatever but then as it continued and she started to post like different pictures of her like um she started to post different um pictures of her like um with topless and things like that um even though even though i was more for okay let her live i was also thinking because this was still this whole court case was still going on and i'm thinking um, you're not making yourself look very good at the moment, Brittany, because you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to be proving to the courts, to your family, to us, to everybody, that, you know, your mental state is fine, you can, you know, the conservatorship can end, and, yeah, like, so you're not really, 
you're sort of proving your dad right in a way. Like he, your dad can literally take these videos and say, show it to any judge and say, look, she's in her forties and this is what she's posting. Plus, she's got two teenage boys. Just side note. So, obviously, like I, I first was posting, you know, like um, comments on their thing. You know, Brittany, this isn't really a good idea. You should, you should be showing yourself. You know. Like showing that you know, like proving to your to the courts, to everyone that you know, like you like what you're saying. Like you're saying you can um, take responsibility for your own money, blah blah. blah. You don't want your dad to um, take your money, blah, blah blah. You know that you can literally just like just do something normal. <laughs> you know, like um, I don't know, face routine or. Just something different, you know. So anyway, um, at first it was just me and a couple others just posting those, you know, a lot of people. We, Brittany had a lot of defenders, a lot of people that say, like, I'll leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. So after a while I was like, okay, whatever. Then she won the conservatorship and everybody was so happy for her. Like, really, really, really happy for her. And, but then she was still posting these really bizarre videos. And if you don't know what sort of videos I'm talking about, I'm going to show you one. Like, there's this picture that she posted um, the 6th of October. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it, I don't know if I'll get a strike or whatever, but um, if you're, basically if you're under 18, just like press skip 10 seconds. So she posted, um, one second, when did she win the conservatorship, because I don't feel like I can even show that video but she posts a lot of videos like this like you see it the one that she posted that i was first going to show you i i i, I can't show you that one um and then she's just posting a lot of sort of bizarre sort of um, videos. A lot of our videos is just like really bizarre. And what's worse is she was supposed to have um, moved houses. You know, she's meant to be married because yet yeah, she wasn't allowed to get pregnant. She wasn't allowed to move houses. She wasn't allowed to get married. Like her family was literally just yeah so i just i just feel like when it comes to when it comes to britney like something is definitely going on and yeah like she's posted a load of things like so much like i'm trying to find a sort of semi-decent video because some of these videos I can't post because of children. So, like, that's another video. Like, yeah, you can say, yeah, you can say, okay, she's just having fun in her living room. She's just being silly, blah, 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 you know. But when you've got, like, tons of videos of you doing the exact same thing, people started to wonder. You know, like, people's literally starting to wonder. So, that's another one. But what's, what got to me, though, is the fact that we all stood behind Britney and we all rooted for Britney. And then after she won the conservatorship and she carried on posting these sorts of things, you know, like, like posting things like this, for example, like it's just very much like, um, sort of like, it felt a bit like a slap in the face, sort of, like we was trying to say, 
you know, you're, you know, was trying to, was trying to defend her basically, and it felt like a slap in the face. And so a load of people began to think on my wavelength, like, oh, this is ridiculous, get a life, blah, blah, blah. But as much as I was getting frustrated whenever one of her posts would pop up, like, I just could not bring myself to, I could not bring myself to unfollow her. Like, I couldn't bring myself to, as you know, if you know me, you know I'm spiritual. I'm a deeply spiritual person. Yes, I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I'm also, uh, uh, I'm also really um, spiritual. That's another video. You know, so, after a while, after a while, yeah, I just started to think, you know, whatever. You know, some people were saying she's doing it for attention. The more views she gets, the more money she earns. Some people were saying, you know, she's trying to stay relevant because obviously the whole conservatorship has finished and she's going to go sort of back to being like, people's like, okay, you're fine now, you know, like, move on. Whereas Ariana Grande, but, um... Yeah, so, you know, people, people started to think, yeah, people started to think, like, um, all sorts, like, she's doing it for attention, or things like that, and part of me thought, okay, she's probably doing it for attention, or she's just, like, some people thought, okay, it's too late, even though she won the conservatorship, she's, like, still lost her mind, you know, she's, her family did this to her, like, her family made her absolutely crazy, but, um, yeah. I can't put the sound on, by the way, because I, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to, um, my video to get demonetized or whatever for like copyright but yeah the thing is it's like as of recently though when you look into her eyes it's almost like she's on something and what a lot of people's wondering is she's supposed to have moved houses and been living, and she's supposed to have been living in a whole new different house. Um, she's supposed to be married, and yet these videos is of her either in her dance studio or like near her living room, just you know, in her old, old house, and it's not making any sense. She posts videos that she's posted a couple days ago, but then she'll re-upload the same one or she'll post something, or she'll post something, but then it's her, it's two different videos in one sort of thing. Now, one thing that I've noticed lately though, is the look in her eye. One second, let me just scroll up. So she posted this today, and it's like her dancing to Justin Bieber's like mistletoe. Like, just take a look at her eyes, yeah, for a second. Like, the, the, is that not the most haunting look you have ever seen? And there are some inconsistencies in this video as well. Like, some people, some people are, like, saying, uh, you know, like, in one clip, the couch is on one side, but then another clip, the couch is on another side. Some people's, you know, and it's not just this video. There's some videos that she's posted where there's a table and then the next second there is no table. And some people are saying is she trying to tell us something is wrong, but then what I what I am wondering is is this even her posting? Like, is she even posting these videos? And you might say, oh that's absolutely ridiculous because of course she's posting these videos. But what's creepy is nobody has actually seen her in person. We just see her doing all this crazy stuff online. Like, we just see her doing all this, like, really bizarre sort of things, like, online. And, 
no one's actually she hasn't made an appearance she hasn't done anything really and like even her new song with Elton John um, that was all done online and when you look at the comments people says people's like um, a lot of people is starting to think you know the same as I do because I first bought it and you know everyone in the comments thought I was crazy but then now a lot of people is like thinking that you know like the same thing as me like is this really her posting all of this and then that is really a creepy thought and I'll tell you why there is a creepy thought because she's you can tell by her eyes like take a look at her eyes you can see she is on something she is high as a kite you know you can see it like she's really high and there's just this sort of look like this sort of help me sort of look in her eye yeah there's this help like for example this was posted 5th of November and then she posted this well this was still 5th of November but um yeah it's just two different videos and a lot of people is saying a lot of people thinks that something really wrong is happening and so do I and I'll tell you why I think that because okay now before I say like obviously I've, I've dragged this on a lot like <laughs> I'm sorry but um I just had to break down a few things now obviously she's in her old house filming all of this and what's not making sense is that she's supposedly meant to be living in her new house but everyone recognises this as her old house. Now, I'm posting this video in January. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm currently still on my break, um, like the status that I posted. And today is Monday the 21st of November, 12.43. Yeah, like, can you see that? I don't know if it's focused. Sorry, that's the door that keeps swinging. But I'm not going to post this video until January. And part of it is because I'm on my break. Another part of it is because I saw that video of Britney dancing to Justin Timberlake's mistletoe. And I just felt the real urge to talk about this because I thought, okay, it's finally time to talk about this. And also, to make my point now, today is the 21st of November. I'm not posting it next month. I know I'm coming back in December, but I want December to be more Christmassy and welcoming the new year. I don't want to talk about anything sort of depress depressing. So I'm going to post this in January. And I'm also, the reason why I'm also posting this in January is because I want to make my point. Now, I've made this video, I'm going to edit it, I'm going to cut bits, I'm going to, you know, just, you know, like, post this video. But, well, not post it, but just edit it. But between now and January, you have no idea what's going to happen. Not really, because say if I, say if like I don't post a video all through, throughout um, December for example, even if I did, you know, there's no, until I told you that this was actually filmed in November, you would have had no idea that I actually filmed this in November and I'm posting it in January. And I know um, it seems like I'm babbling, but stay with me. Now... If I were touch wood, wherever wood is, um, there's, oh, here's wood, <laughs> touch wood. 
So if I was, I posted this, I edited this video, and then I died, yeah? But this video still exists. And say if somebody was to take this video and upload it and cut out where I said I am filming this in November, you would probably think I'm filming this, this was filmed that day or in real time. It's, um, so you have no idea really if I'm alive. You have no idea if, you know, like somebody else is, has hacked into my account and posted this video of me doing this video. You have no idea because all you see is it's my account. You see me and it's my video that I'm posting onto my account. That's the scary thing about um, social media. You really don't know. So other than like my friends and family, right, who will literally call me, like for example, that video I posted where I was just feeling really down after that um, stupid, cleaner job interview and I forgot what I named it but um, I got a lot of calls from family and friends you know concerned about me and you know lifting me up and by the way I'm really grateful for that um, but at the same time my point is unless you're a, f a family member or a friend who sees me in real life who calls me and you know, can hear my voice or see me in person or come and see me, you have no idea if I am actually alive right now. And that is actually really crazy. Like, that is a really crazy thought. Um, it's actually no evidence at all that I, there's any sign of life. And there's no evidence, really, that Brittany is still with us, if you get what I'm saying. Now, obviously, Brittany, Hollywood is a scary place, it's like real scary, scary, scary place. Um, fam being famous is also really scary because it's like um, you've got all these scary sort of stories. Um, everybody knows like how, you know, fucked up Hollywood is. Um, you have the 27 Club, you've got um, all these different things that is really screwed up. And Britney Spears is actually worth a lot of money. Now, supposing if, yeah, she was a little loony, sorry, but say if she was a little loony and posting these videos, and then someone, maybe within her family, maybe her own dad, thought, I know, will keep giving her this medication that sort of makes her act out like crazy, and we'll just film her like for a good like year year or two you know just like um dancing and making an absolute fool of herself and then if we lose this conservatorship because remember the conservatorship means that the dad has no access to her money anymore she has access to her money but you know if she died Obviously, that money could go back into the family, if you get what I'm saying. Now, obviously, I feel like there's some serious foul play here. I feel like these videos, because each time, if you saw the look in her eye, like, let me show you again. If you see this sort of look in her eye, she looked sort of... Like, n never mind the fact that she looks a little dirty, like she looks like her, um, she's been wearing the same eye makeup for a year. She she looks like she can do with a really good bath, a nice hairdresser and new, whatever. You know, but if you just look at her eyes for a second, just slowly focus on her eyes and tell me that that's not her eye, the eyes of someone who is seriously high like you can't say that she's not high she is definitely high on something what if these are just old videos that's been posted of her like um filmed of her 
and it's meant to make us think it's being posted, cut and diced and sected and just given to us in little drips and drabs to make us think that number one, she's still alive. Number two, that to make her look sort of stupid, you know, silly, you know, to um, so that her fan sort of turns their back on her. Because if you look at the comments, at first people was like, yay, Britney, yay, shake that booty, <laughs> you know. But then slowly people start to think, say, this is weird, this is creeping me out, Britney, are you okay? Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> and then people started to say, Britney, you are a mess, what about your sons? Um, I'm following you. So do you really see Sorry, I got an itch in my nose. But yeah, you really see how the her fans have slowly turned her back on her. Like, slowly. At first it was like, yay, Britney! Then it was like, okay, this is a bit odd, but okay, whatever. Then it was like, okay, this is really odd, Britney, are you okay? Then it was, turn my back on you, Britney. So, you have a whole bunch of people who's no longer asking questions because they think, there's all for attention, she's just being really stupid, and yeah. So, um, so there's not going to be a lot of people, well, there is now, but there's not going to be a whole load of people wondering if she's okay, because people are seeing her online and thinking, yeah, she's fine, she's acting a fool online as usual. You know, and also it's to make the dad look like he was right all along. So now the dad's reputation is saved. Brittany looks like she's still alive, even though she's probably not. And I say probably not because just in case I'm just being a crazy conspiracy theorist, and you know she really is just there <laughs> posting all of this. I don't know. But I just don't feel like it's her. I don't feel like it's her posting on her account. And I feel like there's some foul play going on here. Even when you look at other celebrities' posts, you see other celebrities also commenting. And with Britney Spears, it's almost like they've been told, like Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, um, all these different people that been told, okay, you know, this whole Britney thing is very messy, stay away, don't even comment, don't even follow her, <laughs> you know, and it's almost like the whole of Hollywood knows something is seriously wrong. Everybody then knows except us, and that's kind of creepy. Like, you'd think that people, celebrities who grew up like me, watching Britney Spears, watching her rise and rise, you know, like a huge fan of hers, you'd think that they would reach out, you know, on Instagram or whatever, but no comment. Like, you see other celebrities, they post a picture of, like, I don't know, a cheesecake, and you've got about at least four celebrities commenting, you know, and you know they're celebrities because they've got that blue tick next to their name, you know, so no models, no celebrities nobody is literally commenting on Britney's um, videos and that's a little strange to me so I don't know well, let me know in the comments if you think my theory of her being um, deceased is you know like crazy or what it's it sounds crazy now that I say it out loud but I feel like it's, it, sadly, it may be true. And if that's the case, justice for Brittany. And um, so, yeah. Yeah, justice for Brittany. So, yeah, that's all I say. Anyway, if you like this comment, like, comment, subscribe. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Bye.